Today we're going to be configuring FileZilla's FTP server to use FTP over TLS, which is also known as FTPS. We're going to be connecting to that using FileZilla's FTP client. Assuming you already have your server set up and running, let's dive right in. We need to go to the settings section in our FTP server admin console. Once there, change the protocol from the option allowing insecure plain FTP. Change that to the option that requires explicit FTP over TLS. This will require it to be over TLS for the connection to be established. We need to go to the protocol settings screen for FTP and FTPS and choose which TLS certificate to use. Here, we're gonna choose the self-signed X.509 certificate. Click generate new and you'll get a certificate data pop up. Here, we wanna just put in a host name. If you put a distinguished name, it'll throw an error. So I just put local host Host as the host name. To set this up with an actual host name, you'll want to use Let's Encrypt to generate the certificate. For now though, we're just going to use the x.509 certificate that our server is going to generate. But once this has all been taken care of, it's time to connect using the Dark Spy test account we created previously. So flip back over to the FileZilla client and bring up the site manager. Click on our site, fill in the port, and choose to use FTP over TLS. Once you click connect, you should see a pop-up about the certificate being unknown. This pop-up only appears because we're using a self-signed certificate. If you use Let's Encrypt to generate the certificate, this pop-up shouldn't appear. After hitting OK to the pop-up, you can see the TLS connection has been established. That's it, now our connection is secure. Now that you have this secure connection, you probably wanna to connect to your server from somewhere other than your computer. And to do that, we're gonna to need to first tell Windows port 22 can be accessed from outside this computer. Click Start and then search for Defender. Once you find and open Windows Defender Firewall Security, right-click on Inbound Rules and select new rule. Click on port and hit next. Now fill in port 22 and then hit next again. Leave allow connection selected and hit next again. Run through the rest of the dialog naming the new rule and click finish. Now that this rule is in place, you can connect to the server from other computers on your local network by putting in your PC's IP address, which can be found using ipconfig. If you want to connect to the server from outside of your router over the internet, you first need to go to your router settings. I like to type ipconfig and look at the default gateway. This tells me my router's IP. If you navigate to your router's IP in the browser window, you can then log into it. There's only a small chance that we actually have the same router, so I'll just let you fumble through your router's options to find this. You just need to locate port forwarding and then set up a new rule to forward port 22 to your computer's IP address. You can find your computer's IP address by looking back at the IP config that we typed into the command window and looking at the IPv4 address. So in my case, that was 192.168.1.233. Once port forwarding is set up, you can access your FTP server over TLS from outside of your local network. Thanks for watching, and if you have any issues, just let me know in the comments below. I would love to help. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next one.